another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. I apologize that this is coming rather late. Um, I have to reorganize my schedule to get these things done at the appropriate time. But today I want us to remember this um, scripture that says, Cast your burdens, your cares upon the Lord, for he cares for you. The connotation in that statement is that you cast those cares once and for all. You don't cast them or you don't throw them and then pick them up again and live with them. You leave them there with the Lord in faith that he handles it once and for all. You don't keep doing it daily, but it is whatever care you have, whatever fear you have, you cast it on to him and he will sort it out. You've got to believe that he is big enough and faithful enough to keep his word to sort out that care. And then you live in peace. But if you are one of those who cast your cares and then you still worry, you're actually saying that God lied and he's not big enough, that you're actually bigger than him. You can sort out your matter yourself. That's far from what he expects of you. He expects you to trust him so much so that when you give him a matter to sort out, you leave it with him. You trust him enough and believe that he is big enough, endowed enough, resourceful enough to cater for whatever is the um, challenge that is causing you to want to be anxious. And when you leave there, your anxiety should leave. You drop the anxiety at his feet knowing fully well that he has handled it. It's just like when you were a kid, if you had a loving father, once you took a matter to, the, to him, something that was troubling you, and he told you, don't worry, I got it. You left there with peace. You didn't start f fidgeting and wondering, will he sort it out for me, or won't he sort it out for me? If you do that, it means you didn't trust him. If you do that for your earthly, if you could trust your earthly father to handle things when you were a little child, how much more now that you have a heavenly father who is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent? Trust him. Cast your cares upon him. For he cares for you. God bless you. Hallelujah.